Hi there, this is Anthony Gordon with Avid at South by Southwest 2010. We are here with famed record producer, mixer Tim Palmer. Uh, he's made seminal albums, Pearl Jam's 10, he's worked with Bowie, he's worked with Ozzy, he's worked with Wire Train. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming out here to see us uh, at South by Southwest. So you're based here in Austin now, is that correct? That's correct. I moved here about a year and a half ago and uh, it's been, you know, it's been fabulous so far. I really like it. It's given me the opportunity to build my own studio now because obviously Texas is a lot more affordable than LA. I didn't want to have to keep renting a studio space. So now I have my own space at my home and got everything set up and it's been great so far. So the old theory goes that you have to work in London, you have to work in New York or LA to be really be working on big records and be able to work with big clients, but obviously you're proving that's not the case anymore. What's changed uh, with technology uh, for you to be able to work remotely with uh, clients from all over the world? Well, two basic things. Obviously, the internet is a big thing. Yeah. I get offers of work from Russia, from wherever, and as you said, I can work with artists now from, you know, if they're on tour, it doesn't matter. They, stay, they upload the files to me, leave them on my server, I can start mixing, send them something back over the internet. The second thing is that, um, you know, obviously Pro Tools has given me the opportunity now to build my own room. Um, in the past, you know, relying on the traditional studio with a huge console and all the tape machines, now I have a nice room, it's all set up, and I can work on, on records that have been made in LA or New York and just do it from my home in Texas. And, you know, so far it's been great. I just mixed a record for David Cook, who uh, was the um, winner of American Idol 7. And he came out to Texas for the last day. We made a few changes, but essentially I'm just working in my room here and it's great. So your mixing workflow, you kind of do a little bit of the hybrid in the box, out of the box sort of thing, is that correct? Yeah, I tried to get a hybrid of the, of the best of both worlds. That was my dream, uh, is that, you know, I wanted to be able to have the control to be able to recall and be very specific about certain things. But at the same time, I wanted to keep the analog signal flow. So everything basically leaves the Pro Tools, goes through my Tone Lux setup, which is all analog channels. I've got some analog, analog EQs and a GML, but basically I'm sort of mixing in a box but coming out and breaking out through the analog world. So for me, I feel it's the best of both worlds, you know? Yeah. You're getting that sound, but you're also getting recallability, which is crucial, especially if we're working remotely, right? It's very crucial now. I mean, I can get a recall back up in about 20 minutes and make changes. And, you know, having your own room, it's sort of, it's been a very freeing, creatively freeing thing because now I can actually, if I, if, if I haven't got anything else that week, I could spend a week on a mix and it's not costing anybody any more money. Right. I can do a few hours on the drums, the next day maybe work on the guitars, take my own time, control my own hours. And from my point of view, you know, after doing it for, you know, 25 years, that's a really nice thing to be able to do. So here in Austin, obviously, you've, it looks like you've settled into the local music community pretty nicely. The last two years, you've been moderating producers panels for South by Southwest. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience and uh, how you approach uh, doing these panels? Well, to be honest, I, I, you know, it's a bit of fun. I enjoy the sort of the, the aspect of being able to give back a little to the younger people who are just starting out, because I know how that felt. And I think it's pretty tough in the music industry these days. So this year's panel is about how uh, producers are making music with much smaller budgets and how that we can still make a quality product but with maybe a quarter of the sort of budgets that we were used to in the 80s. Yeah. I mean, you know, and to be honest, if it wasn't for the advances in technology, we'd be struggling. But now with Pro Tools and things like that, you can actually achieve this. I mean, you know, 12 years ago, I was faced with, you know, the concept of, you know, I like making records with these tape machines, but somebody said, look, if you don't learn Pro Tools soon, you're going to be left behind. And I was very scared and reluctant to make that change. But when I did, it's fantastic. I mean, you can do so much creatively. I mean, you make changes that everyone will hear. You take a, a part from here and move it to there, that's not a subtle thing. That's not like a little EQ thing. That's something that everyone on every speaker will notice. And, you know, being able to change arrangements and musical parts, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Really good. So what projects do you have coming up that we can look forward to, to getting in stores or downloading? And well, I'm just working on the new Blue October album. I'm really close to finishing that. And that's a, a pretty, a very bold statement from Justin. It's a great record. Really happy with that. They're playing tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that show. And uh, as I said, I've just been mixing this David Cook album. So that's going to hit the stores fairly soon. But yes, keep them busy. It's great. If folks want to find out more about your career, what you're doing, how to hire you, how would they uh, get in touch with you? Well, they can either go through my website, which is timpalmer.com, or my management is World's End Management. So either of those 
to. It's, it's, that's another great thing about the technology. Uh, I get offers of work from people all over the world now because of the internet. You know, they can see my website, write to me, and if it's cool and they're into it and I'm into it, why not? Who cares, right? Yeah. I love doing it, so, you know. It's connected people. Yeah. It's connected people a little bit more. It's taken down that veil, that aloof veil between the artist, the creative person, and the and the fans and, and, and bands trying to get in touch with it's producers. made the process a lot simpler. I find when you often nowadays when you go directly and working with an artist you can um, realize their vision very quickly without having four or five people to talk through to get there, you know? Yeah. Like lawyers. It's amazing lawyers. <laughs> hey, who knows? Managers, you know. I hope I'm not offending my music lawyer. <laughs> well, thanks so much for taking the time Thank to speak you. with us. No and uh, we'll see you around here. Yeah, and thanks so much. Yeah, you bet. We'll see you back at South by Southwest 2011.